The man behind a government-sponsored report into how taxpayer-owned RBS deals with small and medium-sized businesses has told this programme the bank could be guilty of fraud. Lawrence Tomlinson's report, drawn up for the Department for Business and referred to city regulators, accuses RBS of driving healthy companies into the ground and then seizing their assets. He says the bank has squeezed firms through exorbitant fees and charges. Jane Deeth reports. Tonight, RBS stands accused of driving perfectly healthy businesses into the ground, telling them they have a problem, offering to help, but then helping itself to their assets. In bold terms, the bank is alleged to have taken viable businesses, moved them to its turnaround division called the Global Restructuring Group, but instead of turning businesses around, it's been stinging them with such high fees and interest rates, the firms have been going under. And then RBS's own, little-known property business has been snapping up the assets at auction, according to the businessman who's been investigating for the government. We're really concerned that the businesses aren't really struggling and are pushed over the edge, and then these extra fees tip them over, administration, and then you've got the loss of jobs, but then with RBS ending up owning the property. Last month, Channel 4 News first revealed claims RBS was treating smaller businesses badly. Chris Casaridis invested in property with RBS loans. Rental income was good, but the bank pulled the plug. They treat me very bad, very unfair, and they beat me in bad faith, and they sold my livelihood that I spent for 25 years building in England. The report on RBS's lending division is now with the Financial Conduct Authority and Prudential Regulation Authority. If it is proved that this is systemic and institutional fraud and there is quite a lot of evidence with, uh, from people within the bank uh, that this is the case, then the relevant actions should be taken and we should see if people have had their livelihood stolen from them, you should see people going to jail. RBS said tonight it does successfully turn around most businesses, yet its own inquiry into how it treats customers will be made public tomorrow as city watchdogs investigate whether the largely state-owned bank has ruined people's livelihoods.